So I actually tried something different today. I normally sit in the other room and have my coffee, my first cup or two on the couch, and then it just makes me super lazy for the whole day. I end up not doing anything till 10, 11 o'clock. Now what I actually did instead, I sat right here, and this forced me to sit more upright, and I didn't have my phone at the table. I just had one of my watches on. But here we are, it is just about 8.30. I'm dressed, I'm suited, I'm ready to go. Second cup of coffee, cheers. By the way, I know this is old news, but this little Manfrotto pixie tripod, I'm loving this thing. I just got a little, I don't know what you call it, Falcam, Falcam quick release, and I've got a quick release plate under the camera. This thing's nice, it's just, it's wide, it, you know, you could set the camera down on different surfaces. Overall, I'm really impressed with this thing, and it can fit in your pocket, it's just, so I decided to wear a suit today just because there's a couple of videos that I plan on doing and I've been planning on doing them for a long time, but I haven't gotten my suit out of storage in a long time. So I finally got it out of storage, decided to get dressed, just throw it on, start work. And the suit's not really holding me back from doing any inside work. And I do have a couple of things I want to talk about, separate videos. So check out the shoes I'm wearing today. I pulled out my Allen Edmonds Park Avenues from storage, I do need to condition these just because they've been sitting and I've, I have had shoe trees. I did keep these shoe trees in them, but they are tight. They have not been polished or conditioned in a long time. So I do have to, at some point today, condition them. I don't really. All right, first video of the day has been filmed. This one took quite a while. It took like almost an hour. I was changing a lot of outfits. It was about how to wear a suit and look amazing. But what I find what works for me is I film the video, you know, set up all the camera, all that stuff, get all the footage onto the camera. Then I take it and I, I take the SD card, put it into my laptop. Then what I like to do is I like to actually sit down and just do that first run through of editing, cutting out the times where I'm changing, cutting out the times where I'm moving the camera around. A lot of times I just leave the camera recording as I'm doing all that stuff and getting different shots. It stop, start recording. It's just kind of extra, extra thing to my workflow. I don't really need to do. That's what works for me. A lot of advice on YouTube actually will tell you just film five videos on a Monday, edit those five videos on a Tuesday, post those five videos or schedule them out on that Wednesday. I've done the whole filming nonstop. And by that third video, I filmed one, I filmed three videos in a row. I you know, didn't edit them at all. I found by the third video, I was constantly stuttering my words. It's like I just ran out of steam. Just what works for me. I've tried what everyone else says, but I like this the best. Now, I also don't use a, an external monitor. I do everything on a 13 inch MacBook Pro. I really like this setup. My desk is free of clutter. When I, at one of my old jobs, I had to have two monitors. I have one right here where the ring light is, and then I have one right here. So it just added a lot of clutter. So I really like how this is just my mobile setup. I can take this pretty much anywhere in the house, fits it in a backpack, and this is pretty much all I need. I probably will at some point get an external monitor, a nice one to sit right over here by the ring light, but it's nice to know how to edit on something like this because then we don't need as much stuff to edit. The lighting in here right now, since it's a gray, dreary day, this lighting is just amazing right now. It's nice and soft. I've got my blinds. I do have my big, huge light over here. That big thing, that's nice to have. That thing's huge, but it was super cheap. Amazon link below, $50. Get yourself one, it's pretty lightweight too.
bunch of phone calls this morning from this number. It's a 516 number from Hewlett Bay Park, New York. Literally, they called me every 15 minutes. They called me yesterday as well. And I normally keep the I normally keep the setting on my phone that just says, you know, silence unknown callers. But since they called me like 30 times this morning, I actually took that setting off, answered it, and said, hey, don't call me. said rain all day hasn't come yet but I do like this nice soft cinematic lighting that I can get in the apartment I don't have to turn any lights on man it is pouring outside I used to absolutely love the rain I still don't mind the rain but I find that if I want to go outside and ride my bike if I want to go outside and get some footage or maybe even take some photos if I want to go outside and create content now I got to worry about the umbrella that I'm holding in one hand, the camera in the other hand, the microphone, it's just, it's too much to do. Too much to worry about. So, I the worst day to uh, one of these days in life. But, life happens every day, whether it's raining or not. Alright, it has been a long day of listening to myself talk, aka editing videos where I'm just sitting there talking, because that's what the videos are. That's going to wrap it up for this one. Kind of Shame that it was raining all day today, but we took advantage of it and edited a whole bunch of videos and filmed a bunch of content as well. I should really keep track of how many hours I actually spend doing this stuff. Definitely spending about eight hours on this stuff, if not more, sometimes less, but it's not your typical 8 a.m. straight through five. It's eight to 12, then maybe two to four, then six to eight, and then even sometimes, I don't do this that much, Sometimes I would actually stay up late and edit. I don't really do that that much anymore though. So I hope you enjoyed it. A little day in the life of just someone that full-time YouTuber doing everything themselves. Videographer, producer, editor, everything like that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.